Hi, welcome back to the Gapster channel. This is a part two and uh, if you haven't seen the part one, I'll put a link somewhere on top in the description below and towards the end. So uh, we're going to carry on from here. A um, couple of the uh, things you might want to consider is first is that uh, I know a lot of you want to build a uh, differential uh, balanced mode version. So basically you have two of them uh, running in XLR mode and, uh, and that's a great idea. Uh, but I seriously would like you to consider uh, building just one first and to try it out. First build one and try it out and, uh, and test it and see if you like uh, the sound of it. And uh, the second step that you might want to do, and this is kind of why I'm making this video specifically, is that the best sound that comes out of this thing seems to be when you combine it with an uh, I2S to PCM converter board. Uh, it's just, this is when the magic really happens. Uh, without it, it's a great sound, don't, don't say it's not. It's a lot better than what you might think. But that um, running it in that mode, basically we call that simultaneous mode, and uh, just gives it that extra little edge. This is when things open up a little bit and you can see that the sound stage get even wider and bigger. So basically before you run and build the differential mode, that's probably the mode you should aim for because even if you want to build a differential mode you're still gonna need uh, I2S to PCM converter anyway so why don't you just try it and and then this way when you do build your uh, dual uh, your uh, balanced uh, version then you could say well okay this is the sound I heard before from a single board this is the sound I'm hearing now and you, this way you can decide which way you like better. Because the balance mode it varies quite a bit because of the having, it depends on the chip that you are using, uh, if the two chips are somewhat similar or not. Uh, even if they look similar, they may not be similar. Uh, also, it's going to double how much power supplies you're going to need. Because if you're going to run it in balance mode, Ideally, you want to run it, each, each one should run on separate power supply. So now we're doubling our power supply. So it becomes a little bit of a bigger transformation, which, which is fine. But I'm just giving you that little warning. But first try it normally, because that already sounds great. You want a little step up, try it with the uh, I2S to PCM converter. And then if you're happy with that, Give the balance a try, but don't assume the balance is going to automatically be better, but it may or may not be better. Uh, there's so many variables that could dictate that. But with the single one running on a PCM, uh, to, on the nitrous PCM converter, especially the one from Ian that I've tried, it seems to work very, very well. The uh, other thing I wanted to talk about is that uh, if you're going to be running an RCA mode, like I'm suggesting, uh, all the parts that you'll see on the board, pretty much you can get, I would say, almost all of them from Mauser. I managed to have been tracking and doing a lot of research to fine tune the uh, building material. And people say, oh, can you send it to me? Yes, but I'm still fine tuning it because I don't want to miss something and someone ordered all the parts and okay, then you still have the tiny one little part, now you got to order it, now you got to pay $20 shipping to get it and that's not going to be very uh, efficient and you're still waiting. So uh, let's wait a little bit and make sure we have it all right. Also, I want to, uh, uh, I just uh, ordered a whole bunch of boards so when they come in then I'm going to start chipping them all. And before I do that, I'm, I usually like to build one just to make sure that the batch is perfect, that we're not going to get any glitches. Uh, they usually, I've never seen a problem with the board, but it's always good to try it and see, uh, especially if you're sending a whole bunch of them. And I also want to like then order a kit that I finalized from other and just have the bag and the board build it without using anything extra and see what else I'm going to need. So I can tell you guys, well, okay, then you're going to need this and that. 
But uh, right away, I can tell you what you should be ordering now if you want to be ahead of the game. Is I would order those RCA, I don't have them on this board, it's actually connected to my thing, but I'll put a picture for it. You have to order those RCA connectors. These are hard to find. I could not find them on Mauser or DigiKey. If anybody knows a code for them, uh, please send me an email with that code because I still can't find it. And the only place I could find them is on AliExpress and a little bit on Amazon. Uh, but that's going to take a good uh, two to four or five weeks, depending on where you live, to, to get some. So that could be a little bit of a hurdle. Mind you, you could use any RCA connector, but the board is mostly yeah, designed for those because they are very nice connectors. Um, so if you want to order these, that would be great. You can also order, while you're at it, order some uh, UFL connectors. Uh, I'll put a link on all these uh, in the comments uh, below somewhere. And uh, so I would get the UFL connectors uh, for, for it as well. And uh, maybe some of the jumper pins. You're going to need about 12 jumper pins There's on this board. This board is so configurable. You can configure it to any way you want it pretty much. But I've tried a lot of mo modes. Trust me, I've tried them all. Everything uh, out there I have tried. A lot of them are actually pretty good. And it seems to shine the best with the uh, uh, I2S to PCM converter. Because that gives it like that little, another even uh, touch of, of uh, an improvement. But I'm not trying to sell Ian's I2S PCM board. I, trust me, I do not. I'm not affiliated with Ian. I don't make any money whenever he sells a $100,000 worth of product or $100. I don't make anything. Uh, it's not, uh, I'm not affiliated in any way. I just like the products and I find like he charges reasonably for his board and for the amount of work. And now that I'm making a board, I know how much work go involves into doing some of that and money invested to make something like that. So, uh, so like I said, uh, the reason I'm making this video is also the, um, the I2S, the uh, I2S to the PCM converter board from me, and I don't know if he's going to have a lot of those because this is an old board. He haven't been, hasn't had a lot of demand lately. I'm not sure how much stock he's got on this. So if you want to get ahead of the game and if you really want to go this far or if you are building a dual uh, balance uh, mode, um, then you will need that card. So I would suggest you order it now. You, we, he may run out of those cards. I'm not sure really how many. He might have a lot, but he might not have any, uh, that many. So depends on how many you want to order that, that card. It might be a delay in having to for him to make a whole bunch of them. That could, that could take some time. So yeah, so these are the things I would uh, basically get. Uh, the RCA uh, connectors, the UFLs, the little jumpers. Also, make sure you get yourself a box of standoffs. You're going to need a lot of those. I'll put a link of a good one below. If you ordered the, uh, the board uh, already, uh, you're lucky. If you have ordered those, I know before it had a blue a board and uh, one shield. Uh, right now, I'm actually including uh, two shields and they're going to be all black because there's been a lot of people wanting black. Uh, but to honor all the people that ordered at the beginning and they were trying to support me, I am actually going to, even though when you bought it, it was only one shield, I'm actually including a second shield. I'm also including two mini shields that will go, uh, you know, those ones here. Because these were a regular PC double-sided board that I had and I cut them, but it just makes life easier if you're all ready to go. Now, if you ordered before, uh, I just, uh, you know, ordered these. I'm hoping they're going to fit perfectly, but just in case they don't fit perfectly, please don't crucify me. I might still send them to you. 
or um, we might have to wait till I do some corrections. It's always, uh, every time you're ordering, you're designing something, you never know till you actually get the product. Things can go wrong till you actually get it and try it. I also want to build a couple of those and try to make sure everything is working well before I send anything. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit long, but I really wanted to talk about all these things because they're quite important and I want you to understand. I just try, I want to just make sure that when you build this, that you get the sound that I'm hoping that you're going to get and that you can enjoy it as much as I do. I'm going to put a link in the corner about my other video. I talked about this uh, DAC just in case you haven't seen it. And in this uh, corner here, I'm going to talk about a few songs that are highly well recorded that I would like you to listen to when you listen on this DAC because the imaging on this is quite something. You're going to really love it. And there will be a speaker in the middle if you'd like to subscribe to this channel and help me keep progressing. Or also you can subscribe to my Patreon channel, uh, like I said earlier, and help the channel even more. Take care and I hope to see you again.